I bought this greenhouse cabinet for this plant. Begonia Milano Blada. Hey guys, it's Jolene here. Welcome to my greenhouse cabinet house plant tour. So I got this uh, cabinet from IKEA yesterday. I assembled everything yesterday. Uh, I shot the plants in yesterday. It all happened overnight. So if you came here from my previous bedroom houseplant tour, well, you will realize my bedroom is completely different now. So this cabinet from IKEA is not meant for uh, plants. I mean, they didn't design it purposely for plants, but there's a trend now that people start to converting these glass cabinets into greenhouse. And I think that is such a genius idea because I'm personally not a fan of a traditional greenhouse with like green fabrics. So I really dig how these glass cabinet look in the apartment and I think they don't take much space. And I think this glass cabinet works as a really gorgeous furniture basically. Uh, and I, I get really good light from my bedroom windows. The window in front of me is east facing, the window next to me is south facing. So I get really good sun in the morning and throughout the afternoon. So it doesn't really need uh, a grow light, but my plan, my original plan was to actually install a hanging grow light from the top because I have that uh, grow light from Soltech Solution. That was my plan until last night when I bought it, I realized the top of the cabinet is not glass. It's not made of glass, it's made of metal. Which means I can't put a, a grow light on the top because the light just wouldn't shine through the cabinet at all. So that was a bummer, but um, it, it, it's fine. As you can see, I have a lot of light shining in. The assembly process of this cabinet was not that hard, but I suggest do it with a friend if you're gonna get one of these cabinets because um, I did all the metal frame assembly myself but I really needed my husband's help while putting the glass in it was, it was definitely two people's job because you would not, you do not want to drop that glass when I step away you can see I have another planter right next to it this one is actually from CB2 and the color of it surprisingly match each other the color is almost exactly the same I think they look really cute together I've been running my humidifier in my bedroom every day almost non-stop because I really want to raise the humidity in this apartment because I only have 50 to 55 percent ish humidity on a good day most of the other days it's like 40 ish so it's really low uh, and I just even though I run the humidifier all day it still struggle to get to 60 percent and after running the humidifier for a couple hours when I walk into my bedroom Everything was so foggy. Me and my husband just working in fog, struggling to even see each other. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. That's why I opt in for a greenhouse. On the top shelf of my cabinet, I have all the propagated plants and one Hoya and one uh, Begonia. So I'll show you the first one. You already saw that in my intro this is begonia milano blada it is probably my top five dream plant ever <laughs> so if my house is on fire i can grab like three plants i probably will grab number one this guy and number two my monstera aurea and number three probably my, I mean, I will, I want to say Begonia Luxurians, but it's not that expensive, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I probably will grab a number three, probably uh, Monstera Elbow. Well, Monstera Variegata is everybody's favorite, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's how important this plant is to me. So I got this plant not long ago. Um, it was in really good condition when I receive it and I want to keep it this way. So yeah, pretty much the rest of my plants are hitchhikers. Hitchhikers. They're in here, thanks to him. 
this plant is a very sought after plant um, just because it's unique leaf structure it's really amazing because when you look at this way it looks like patterns on the leaf but you look at sideways there are spikes on the leaves it's literally the plant version of Christian Louboutin you gotta love a red bottom shoe <laughs> okay so the next plant I want to show you is oh yeah Imbricata I unboxed it a few months ago uh, some of you probably saw that video and it's doing really good believe it or not I have four leaves on this plant but you might only see three because this leaf completely ate the bottom one really is a very slow grower unless it gets the right humidity so uh, I think two weeks ago we had a really humid week in LA everything just started growing like crazy my uh, Reptophora paradoxa grew three legs three legs literally and uh, this guy the new baby happened during that week uh, and everything else it was really doing really well during that one week I think our um, average humidity in LA uh, in Korean town was 82% which was so impressive I was really happy but we only had it for like a week but this guy is getting a really good spot over here you guys can't see how the sun shines through the cabinet because I have to put the blinds down for filming. If I lift the blinds up, we have really good sun coming in. Uh, and the rest of the stuff, I'm not going to show you every single one of them. But I propagated these Piper Parmatum. I just really love the texture of the leaves. They are such underrated terrarium plants. If you give it red humidity, it'll grow really large. The new leaves are green, but when they get more mature uh, and bigger, they are turning completely black. So they're just a very, very beautiful plant. This is my Philodendron Milano Chrysum. I got it from a plant trade, uh, uh, I guess a month ago, but this guy just doesn't root. I tried the water propagation, soil propagation, now I have it in moss. I'm not gonna pull it out because I just put it in moss literally like two days ago. But it's just not rooting and I'm really worried. Um, I don't think it's gonna take, but I'll just keep my fingers crossed. And uh, on the second shelf, I have four plants. The first one I have is a Philodendron Florida Ghost. I also got it from a plant trade and is just a gorgeous plant. I traded this guy with my uh, Philodendron ver Vericosum cross with Milano Chrysum. I had a long, long, long plant, I don't know if you guys remember, and I just keep propagating it. I have like three leaves left now because I've been trading so much with that plant, but uh, I don't, I have no regret because the plants I got are very very um, much of my dream plant including this Florida ghost uh, just look at the leaves they're all minty I mean not minty but I think they're called like mint when you have leaf like like dark green with light green like that and right next to it I have my propagated uh, monstera elbow I also got it from a trade and I traded also, I traded it also with my Philodendron Vericosum and Melanochrysum. Everybody just wants that plant. I think it's really hard to purchase. It's not necessarily how expensive that plant was, but um, it's just re really high demand. It it's rare. If you want to buy it, if you say, I have money, I want to buy it, but it's almost, it's almost impossible to buy because not that many people are selling it. If you're curious what that looks like, I'll show you right here. I have a bigger one I propagated um, in one of my videos. If you want to see that, click link up here. I air layered this cutting. Uh, when I air layered it, this, this was the only leaf. And this was a baby leaf, just, re just like about to open. And now it's completely opened and guess what? This is another new leaf opened a week ago, uh, a little over a week ago. But uh, yeah, uh, my top cutting at the time had only one leaf, now I have three leaves. And the fourth one is coming. I'm really happy. 
So yeah, now you know why I don't feel sad when I trade uh, with my other cuttings because I got this coin over here uh, and behind the other two I have my Anthurium VGI and right next to that VGI is my Dubia I have it mounted on this piece of this piece of wood and just have some moss underneath of the leaves just to help the leaves root I know that I have to eventually plant it in soil but I don't have any really roots at the bottom yet this is the bottom I don't have really anything at the bottom so I still have to let it root in moss first before I transfer it to soil but it's doing so far so good at the bottom I have my uh, Anthurium Clarinervium I got from Green Spaces ID this is a brand new leaf Philodendron Dark Lord. I got it from a trade. Philodendrons are usually very easy to root, so I didn't think much. I didn't even water propagate, I just stick them right into soil. And a month later, look what happened. These little shoots popped out of the growth point. So yeah, I don't, I'm not even worried about philodendrons, they're just so resilient. That's why philodendrons are definitely the perfect plant for a beginner uh, houseplant parent. And inside, I have another plant. Uh, she, on, when I bought it on the label, it said Cheddar Scansha Rebecca. So I'm pretty sure Rebecca is not a botanical name at all. So, but it's really cute. I have it planted in this uh, concrete planter. The last one, the bottom shelf, is my Anthurium VGI. I had like four Anthurium VGI and I traded one, I sold one, I still have two. This is one of the two. Uh, this is a really newer leaf I had. This one opened up probably three days ago and it just kept growing and just kept growing. They grow so fast. And since the top wasn't glass as I expected, it's metal, so I am decided to just put some plants on it. Uh, this one I have right here is a, a, a Monstera adesanya I propagated. And right next to it is my Begonia angel wing, the Begonia maculata YTI. Uh, I love how both planters are dark gray and black. So it really match my cabinet. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you have any question about the IKEA cabinet, please feel free to comment below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I would love to answer your questions. Or if you have any suggestions about how to uh, you know keep my plants happy in this cabinet please also comment below and let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video bye